And we're back, guys, with our Dual Pixels podcast. Yeah. So finally, after a long overhaul, we're yeah. back, guys. We decided to come back. Well, not decided. <laughs> we wanted. No, we we came back. Okay. For a reason. Yeah, and that reason is for PlayStation Four, guys. It's out. It's well, not out. It's, it's announced. It's, it's out. Enough. It's exposed. Um. It's very special to the gaming industry. Another step forward into the future. So, um, no, but wait. First, we're gonna introduce ourselves. If you guys don't know me. I'm Jose from Dual Pixels. Woo, Jeff. Yeah, Dual Pixels. And so, yeah, we're talking about the PS4. It's cool. <laughs> so yeah, so pretty much we dedicated this whole podcast into the PS4. And you know, let's let's start with the conference. What did what did you think, Jeff, about the conference? Because I thought. I- Watching it live, at first I thought it was the, f- I don't know, I didn't, I thought it was the stupidest, most boringest conference I've ever seen in a while, and then, okay, like then, and then, it hit me. It hit me so strong that it was actually the smartest conference ever. Smart in like, as in, and ever, ever for a console announcement. I'll tell you that it's it's just, it was one of the most intelligently thought out conferences I've ever seen in a while. Um, reasons why, even though we we had two hours of like specs and games and like you know like what this beast could do. Well, yeah, um, they had to show that. Yeah, yeah, they had to show it, and it's like to me, I I was like, I I took it I took it like it was gonna be an E3 event. Like I was hoping for like the Kingdom Hearts you see, three to get announced, and it wasn't supposed to be that. No, and that's why ever, a lot yeah. of people got confused with that uh, that same idea was that hey they were expecting i want so and so to be out already i want them to show like you know a polished version of uh, the infamous uh, second son that they showed they wanted to see like polished yeah. versions of that but it's like they just announced this system yeah it was just for the system they gave they even gave, gave the specs they gave out. the specs um they even showed the controller they they pretty much said everything except for price which a lot of people were frustrated about but i could see like hey they just okay. announced the system yeah that's why i see it as too like you know these which things are so smart because it's like what i was talking to you um before the past couple of days before we're, we're doing this podcast was the fact that they go- Sony going into E3 is in such a powerful position over the other guys over Nintendo because they already Microsoft. yeah they already because got all they the already cards. they got all the cards out we, they got the boring shit out of the way they got the specs we know what it is we know probably they're gonna show us more sh- sales charts maybe <laughs> maybe but it's like hey like you know um it's just less it's just less sh- like less shit to talk about at the conference when it comes to specs when it comes to the controller. When it comes to the graphics, I mean, they have to show the system though because they did not show yeah, the system. Yeah, well, the con- of course, they but didn't show like, the console that's, that's five seconds. Like, hey, look at this is what it's like. This that that thing is not fitting in a small box. People is not fitting in a small yeah, box. Yeah, uh, because it's, it's, it's a beast. It, I'll tell you that it's a beast. Um, we'll go into Jose will definitely like a, like explain like how beasty this thing is, but I'm telling you guys, it it is ferocious. So um. That's that's pretty good to know about the system. And then with me, like like hitting on the point about E3 is that going into E3, pretty much they just have to they just have to talk about the exclusives. Like they have to talk about the games that are going to come at launch, price, date. That's it. And that's so huge because it's like they can emphasize, like yeah, it's all seeping in right now. Yeah, it's seeping in that hey, we're, they they they're going to come out with some badass exclusives. Like the exclusives are going to be because they have some badass exclusives exclusive startups on ps3 so yeah we're gonna say but not, no a lot of people complained a lot of people complained but this this for sure is probably gonna be the greatest launch like selection out of any console that was ever launched i think in my opinion because of the positioning that sony has put themselves in because they got all the funky junky stuff out of the way now yeah. with the conference now it's just simple talk hey this is what we're gonna do with the vita because uh, we already know what the vita is about announced the Vita games. Yeah, but it's kind of it, it's kind of sad though that they didn't announce anything on the Vita. No, it, no all right. it, was all a, right. it was a PS4 announcement. It, it was a PS4 event. Alright, one thing they did announce was the streaming with Gakai. Gakai is a streaming uh, service and they're going to let you remote play you know, your... Pretty, th- their goal is to remote play every game. Every game, yeah. But knowing Sony, Vita. a lot, like they have uh, phenomenal ideas but sometimes they half-ass like uh, most of them. So, like, I would say, like, probably within the next, like, year or so, we'll probably see that, like, true remote play. Yeah, like, we'll see most of the thing materialize. Yeah, because a lot of things that Sony, like, does 
Like, they do come up with phenomenal ideas, but it does take freaking fur. Or they half ass it. Or they half ass yeah. it and they just release it and never update it. But yeah. that's how it is with the Vita right now. So that's. But for me, like, with the, with the PS4 conference, was that um, they. They, for some reason, had to feel that everything that they were saying, like all the shit that they were talking well, they were, about, they were, they were more confident about. Themselves. That's what I'm saying. Like everything they, they knew, what saying, they want. it felt believable. It it it, lo- it felt believable. It looked believable. It looked believable. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It felt and looked believable as opposed it to like, a shitty CG. Exactly. As like, opposed to like when the PS3 just launched, like they were like, you know, yeah, with Killzone. They were ahead of their way ahead of their time. With this, it feels like we're like. We're ready as gamers. It's ready. It's like we're ready as consumers to buy something of this caliber. You know what I mean? Like everyone's ready for this. Well, what was unbelievable though was the eight gigabytes of RAM. All right, so here That's we go. Here we go, Jose. I know you're ready for this. So explain to like someone that doesn't know a like a single fuck about what they meant spec wise. Explain to people how how powerful this thing is. Okay, this thing is going to be a beast. Compared to Durango's, well, Project Durango's, Microsoft's Microsoft, other systems. Which uh, is counter, counter system to counter the system. PS4. Compared to, you know, the RAM in that, this RAM is going to be real fast. Meaning, we're going to see more things pop up in games. More more of everything, pretty much. More, create, more creativity. Everybody's saying, how much is this thing going to cost? Well, people need, to, people need to think that Sony is a hardware company. You know, right. this this thing shouldn't be out there reach. But uh, a lot of people say Sony was a hardware company, but they made a lot of, well, not a lot of mistakes, but they made some some development mistakes with the PS3. Okay, because... So why, give, why give confidence in the PS4? If someone, like, just playing devil's advocate, like, why, why give confidence to the PS4 as opposed to, like, what happened with the PS3, where it's like, hey, the, uh, the dual cell, um, like, you know, it just made it harder for developers. Okay. The thing with Sony is that when they get arrogant, they seem to fuck up. Yeah. So they they were so into themselves with the success of the PS2. So by the time the PS3 came out, they didn't give a fuck. They were just trying to set standards, trying to go high as right, much. Right, they weren't right. thinking about anything else. They knew the fans were gonna buy. And they they admitted it. They admitted it at the conference that hey, uh, dual Dell was. Well, this, the the cell, the, the cell, the cell wasn't. It wasn't. It's, it, it it's, didn't work. Yeah, it's not the architecture. People, that, developers. That, yeah, that, developers. It's just. It was hard for no reason. Yeah, for no reason. There it was hard for no reason. And well, not, like, not hard for Naughty Dog. Let's let's give it. Let's up. Just give it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not hard for Naughty Dog, God but bless. for other developers. Yeah. So what the PS4 is is going to be able to do is is that it's just it's just re, it's just uh, the architecture. Architecture the, is more PC like. So meaning, and developers have been developing on this already. So yeah, it's nothing it, new. It's so. not new to them. So they could use anything they want, any type of software they want to create something on the PS4. Exactly. So it's not going to be like a hassle to do. Right. So eight gigabytes, GDDR5 RAM, a huge step. So anybody who's playing it down right now, they you know they're going to be blown away. All right. So um. Also, this question to someone that's like like myself that's not really into like the specs, but can just tell the difference just because I've been playing games for so long. Graphically, is the jump gonna be as extreme from PS2 to PS3, or is it gonna be something of that level? Or like, how how big is this jump from PS3 to PS4? You know, if I had, if I would put numbers. You know, it wouldn't make any sense. So, you see, I was going to say 16 times, but that's the accurate, that's the correct way of saying it. 16 times more powerful than the PS3. But, like, is it going to be, like, um, graphically, are you going to see a big difference? Are you going to see a big difference? It's not going to be graphically. All right, graphically is going to be a big difference in a sense that you can make worlds, and it's going to look real, real good. Actual living living worlds. Living worlds is going to look real good because you could put so much into it. Right. So, that's going to give it a sense that Graphically, this thing is a beast. Right. This, this system is going to be able to render so it's more, a lot it's of stuff. more about physics and, and pushing, like, like the... Um, also, frame rate plays, you know, role in RAM. It's a yeah. lot of a lot of stuff lot to, of make, to, make, yeah, to make the world living. Right, so that, that's awesome to know. And then, um, biggest question to everyone, well, to the hardcore gamer, is that... Is this the most powerful thing to play video games on? It could be. It could be. It, yeah, it's, it's, it could be when it launches this fall. It could because that eight gigabyte is all unified. 
and it's real real fast RAM. And so what does that mean, unified? Meaning that the meaning, possibilities are endless in terms of like... Meaning uh, it's not split up. Could it's not split up between computer and the graphic card. Right. Meaning you could pull it from any any direction. So you can want. you peak the PS4 or is it going to take longer to peak the PS4? Actually, it's, it would be easier to peak the PS4 because the development tools. Because it's, it's how so easy, common. yeah. How easy it is. It'll probably be easier compared to like the Xbox. The so Xbox. wait, so we're, you're br- you're basically saying that because it's so e- uh, like so much easier. I mean, would 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 this would this generation last as long as like this generation past? will last? Like I said, we were limited before by RAM. So right. we have 16 times the amount of that RAM. Now we have art styles. So now it's just like the imagination is. It's imagination, limited, yeah. Right? That which is awesome. So, um, yeah. So that's the specs. That's uh, the the beast behind um, the PS4. But what about the DualShock? The DualShock. Uh, that I, I, that I, was pretty. It looked pretty cool. It looked plain to me. I, I like no. the. I like that. Um, I like where they're no, going. No, 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 no. It looked. It looked plain, but it does look functional. It, it looks, looks functional. It looks, yeah, yeah, it looks real. Yeah, yeah, it, it looks, looks like, more hey, functional. Yeah, I, I like, um, I know they, they did the triggers, especially um, for um, shooters, like, fan, like especially uh, Xbox fans, that yeah. they, they literally addressed them with the triggers, like, they changed the triggers. And the, and the analog sticks. And the analog sticks, of course. They're, they're concave now. So that, that's literally saying... Matter of fact, they're convex, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we'll, yeah, whatever, we'll decide. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, whatever it is, concave, convex, whatever. Kodak, whatever. <laughs> yeah, so it will, it's just better for 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 shooters. For shooters, so that's uh, they address that audience, the the Xbox audience especially because that's what their controller was. Pretty. Also the uh, the touch screen, the touch pad, pad, pad. Yeah, let's, let's correct All right, that. Yeah. yeah, I always say screen because it's the first thing that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, because we're so used to touch screen, that's why. So. Well, the Vita had the touch pad, but. Yeah, and then everyone is already using touch screen with phones and whatnot, and so. Oh yeah. But the touch pad, like it, it looks, it look like I like like um the ideas that they're going with the controller. It looks, it's a button too. It sounds, it sounds amazing, but it looks very scrap. It looks very raw. It looks so raw. What? Here's my thing. What are we gonna be able to do with this? To swipe menus? What yeah. Why? Why a touchpad? What? What? Or is it? Or is it? Are they gonna like let us play mobile games? Like games off of Android, maybe or something. Yeah, I guess. That advantage. Um, a lot of people are saying like the future is uh, cell phone gaming. I don't see it. I really do not see it. It's cell phone gaming is time wasters. That's how I see it. I guess, but it's like I don't. I don't see it like. You know, like the revolution of yeah. like gaming, like you know, like PS4 is the future, Durango is the, the future. future. You know what I mean? Like yeah. those are the future. And we're gonna the say Wii U just because. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's another. That's, that's another, another to- topic. For yeah, that's another. Another, oh, another cast. Another yeah, podcast. another one. Maybe next week or a few weeks after, we'll yeah. talk about that. But the you know the DualShock Four, but you know the touch. Pad. Besides the touchpad, another interesting feature was the share button. The share. Uh, I. Uh, okay. Um, I, I, as a gamer, uh, it, it's cool, but I don't care about sharing my up- uploading videos of things I've played. And here's the thing: you don't care, but there's a lot of other gamers who, 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 they who care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially um, being a, being being able to stream your game, and. You know, watching. I know that's huge for like competitive gaming. Yeah. Be re- the fighting game community is going to take a huge leap with this. So, um, I because as someone that plays a lot of fighting games and someone that's so invested in that community, it's like it's going to be interesting to see the share button and like you know, like what what like developers like Capcom and Namco and like the huge like fighting game uh, companies are going to do with. The share button and, and like you know like our our combo is gonna be super limited. Are are people gonna like understand combos and like? Oh yeah, you, know, you can show someone how to do a combo like on trials, your screen. Like you know yeah. what I mean? Like how how like how to me like what I'm what I'm pretty much saying is like it might even handicap like um like the handicap? like the like the fighting game community because everything is gonna be everyone's gonna be asking for changes. Like this is broken, that is broken. Like how actually no, actually this is gonna be great for everybody it, like it, you it's, yeah. g- it's gonna be great for I, everyone yeah like right now i'm just like vacillating between thoughts like uh, like one part of me is like can see the handicap another part of me can see like how 
how broad and how expansive this could be for the fighting game community. I don't know. It could actually be amazing. Like, I don't know. It just depends. It all depends on... And remember, all you have to do is just log on to your PlayStation so you could actually, like, view a stream. Like, this this could... For the share button, though, is it like... Um, I'm not sure if they addressed this at the conference or, like, yeah. somebody got a report on it. But, like, with the share, is it going to be, like, something that's, like, logged into your PSN card? That, that like, they, did, like, they didn't me, mention it. Yeah, yeah. like, like let, let's say, for instance, like, I, 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 when I automatically... When, when I thought of it, I automatically assumed, like, hey, like, for instance, like, you and me, like, you, Jose and Jeff. Basically, like, Jose uploads a video of, like, him playing um, Infamous Second Son, right? Is that going to be, like... Like under PSN, am I able to go to your like PSN card and like see that video of like everything you've downloaded and played and, uh, that you've shared with? Is that going to be like a possibility? Like, is there going to be like a share log so I can just pop into your card and see? Yeah, they didn't. They didn't address that, but that's that, pretty cool, yeah, right? That's like a, a that's like, a pretty cool idea. Like a share log, like pretty much like a YouTube channel. Yeah, but they did say you could stream with Ustream, so yeah. So it's pretty much like everyone has like their own channel within their profiles. Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty. It, yeah. They, they, they did they did show you know your profile and your page so yeah so i don't see why they wouldn't put those uh share share videos on on your profile as like channels like your own channel yeah that would that would be pretty awesome right there yeah that, that's just that, that sounds like a basic idea i don't see why that should that would that would elevate like you know people posting call of duty videos yeah that would just make it onto like a whole new level yeah, it, that that's definitely like the next level of socialism um, when it comes to uh, gaming because it's like, all right, think about it like this: when you're on Facebook, you post comments and pictures. When you're on Instagram, you post pictures. When you're now, on, when you're on your PS4, you're, you're posting, posting videos video. of gaming. So it's like that's pretty awesome to know, and it's so accessible. The way they made it look was that hey, you press the button, it starts recording. Is that the way it works? Like you press the yeah. button, it starts recording. You press it again, it stops. Yeah, and then you upload it. Like it's pretty on a log, yeah. yeah it's on pretty a log. easy. But so, like they showed another feature besides that too, which pretty much you could play a game. If you think it's too hard, you could then send it to a friend so they could play it for you. <sighs> those are I, I don't know I don't know if that was one of Sony's ideas for as as like one of those like broad ideas that hey we're gonna half ass ideas or like hey it's yeah, actually yeah. gonna work. I, I yeah I agree with you on that because they did they show that I they didn't they didn't show they that but they, they mentioned it yeah i know the most realistic broad idea that might that sounds like you know the most functional out of the things that they did uh, bring up was the um play while download actually no you say you say it's functional i really think you can't i think it's just hard because yeah. it does depend on provider but yet again it does sound realistic it does sound realistic it sounds realistic but when everything's loading up and you know to play it like yeah we'll, uh, let's say for instance what you all right you see a movie when it pauses right yeah how, how does a game pause like how does a game what, pause yeah like, you don't one percent on your download does it let's say you're playing texture? online let's say you're playing online with the game now ah. so a demo that plays online not even not even that but i'm just saying like if it plays online like um well, th they could also say this, like, hey, after, like, a certain percentage, like, you could start playing yeah. online. Like, that would be know, better, yeah. Yeah, you know, like, hey, at certain points, you could do this, this, and this. You know what I mean? Instead of, like, oh, like, broadly saying, hey, you could just play while it's downloading. But I, that's why I say, say it could work, because they're going to, they're gonna, knowing Sony, they're most likely going to say, like, hey, these are the limits to that kind of functionality. So um, that, that when, when it comes to that, I, I guess that's, that is realistic. Okay. Uh well, I, I kind of, no, I kind of like the idea of, you know, if a game is too hard, you pass it to your friend or... It, it, I, it, I don't know. I, I feel like, like a gaming, gaming has done enough handheld holding. Like, okay. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I agree. You know what? I, I, I remember when I was brought up as a gamer, like, I, it took me forever for Pokemon Gold to get my fourth bag. You see, that's what you were brought up to, <laughs> to gaming know? when I was brought up to gaming. We had stuff like uh, Super Ghost and Goblin. And I know. That's shit, shit was just hard. That's hard. But it's like, with me, what my generation is like with Pokemon Gold, when, when that came out in the fourth badge was that, hey, like you had to follow like the route, like the, like the um, what do you call it? Like, you know, remember like there was just a, an abyss you had to get across? Yeah. Like shit like that took me like fucking two months to complete because I didn't know what to do. And I, I literally had to like, uh, yeah, for instance, I, I had to get a friend to help me with that situation. But I just miss those days of like struggling. I miss those days of struggling in games. Well, that's why they have Demon Souls and Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, that to me was the most interesting one because it could it could make 
you can make contests out of that. You could do like a lot of stuff with your friends. You could, you know, it's yeah. Like, it, it brings. It, a matter of fact, if you think about it, it brings a single player experience almost multiplayer. multiplayer. Yeah. yeah, like uh, DMC is only you know one player. Let's see who could do the best combo. Like Let's you can even play. You know how um we're pretty much bringing this experience to the online environment. Is that you know when you're playing, let's say we're playing DMC, I go over to my friend's house, yeah. and like, hey, like you, you pass this level, and then I get next level, or you die, I'll pass it off to you. Or like, if you guys are like in a group playing just a single player game, it's bringing that experience over to the yeah, it's social, a, it's social area, the social environment of uh, gaming, which is pretty, that's pretty awesome because that, now it's awesome. Yet I hate Sony because I love playing games on a couch with friends. I, I don't, I never want to see like that, that, that aspect of gaming ever disappear. Like I love playing games with the friends. Well, you got a Wii U. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, but I, I, I don't want it to be like one of those like, you know underground things like what the arcade scene is not is, is now is is that you know it's it's becoming obsolete it's becoming you know it's becoming destroyed by all these social advances in yeah. video games that's kind of like you don't like i don't want things like that to go away like people like bring back the human element in gaming damn it that's what i'm trying to say the human element in gaming fuck that's what we need <laughs> the human element yeah like i don't want to be i don't i I don't want to forever have my system connected to, you know. Well, they they also said with the new PSI, the new one. I, I I I I didn't really uh, understand that. I didn't. It's it's pretty much gonna let you record yourself while you're playing a game. Like you could watch other people play. Yeah, like you're, like, like you. That's you're gonna weird. Have, yeah, you're gonna have like um like when is it like uh the equivalent of um what Microsoft Microsoft has with the cross chat. Yeah, but with you, video know, on you the know what this reminds me of, though. You remember at the PS3 press conference, PS3 press conference in like 2005, like 2006. The yeah, they had a, you, they had like one of the presenters playing Gran Turismo, and they had his friends on a camera. So, hmm, look at that. That's all. Like that's an idea that's probably gonna come back yeah. to life. It's that's like with uh with uh PS. Remember when um. Same thing. When PS3 uh, was launching, they announced like cro- cross-play um, within the PSP. Yeah. And then they had to come out with the Vita because it wasn't really possible with the PSP. Exactly. So that's so. Wait a minute. Is like, is that? I don't know. I I think the Vita works well. That idea works so much more with the Vita. With uh, Vita PS3 rather than PS4 or Vita. Okay. Cause it's like it's not the disparity in graphics is not as heavy as like PS4 Vita or like PS3 Vita or whatever. Yeah, but all right. So yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty much yeah. everything you have to say about specs and like what. Spec wise, yeah, that's controller. Controller specs. Every eight gigabytes of RAM. Everybody, give it up. Applaud because yeah. it's a lot. I, so. I, I, that's the that's the as someone that's like not familiar with like you know specs. I I've heard this like that eight gigabytes of RAM is all you need to know when it comes to this. Yeah, uh, let's talk about the games there. Uh, so we we did pretty much the console and the and the and the power. Now it's the games because that's all that matters at yeah. the end of the day. That's at, all that matters. At the end of the day, that's what matters. You can give me the most powerful fucking console in the world, but if it's playing eighty-eight first-person shooters, I wouldn't care. Well, at least out of those eighty-eight, one of them will be good. But yeah, <laughs> Killzone. And I bet you all the main characters in those eighty-eight first-person shooters have. No hair. <laughs> so, True. <laughs> so, so, True. Yeah, kill zone, like you were saying. Yeah. Um. So, wait, so the first demo that was uh, no. What was the first demo announced at the conference? Was it Kill Zone? Okay. We're gonna talk about Kill Zone anyway. Well, yeah. Just because. Just because it's the first. Like it looked like the first realistic launch title. That it is. Happen. It is gonna be a launch title. And it is. And it's. And it looked. It looked beautiful. That's why it, it looked. Well. By the way, it's not killed on itself. It's killed on Shadow. It's not killed on for what people wanted for branding purposes. But it. It is. Uh, what it. Uh, what before we had the podcast, we spoke about um, how this is thirty years after. After yeah, the after events. the event of Kills on Three, so it's Kills on Shadow Falls now. So this is when the uh, Helgen and the ISA, now they're living in the same world. So. Right, okay. and like you could tell, like some like civil wars happening because motherfuckers, like you know, walking one minute, some shit explodes, and then he wakes up with like, yeah, a lot of heavy a lot, duty machinery, a lot of controversy. Yeah. We'll put it that way, a lot of drama. Yeah, but all right, let's talk about what we were looking at. Yeah, 
I couldn't believe what I was looking at for a minute. I couldn't, it, not necessarily the graphics, but what was going on around the world. Like, y you saw people having separate conversations while you were walking past, uh, you while you were walking past them. You saw, like, changing environments every second. Like, everything felt changing while you were, while the character was moving, while he was shooting people. Everything was constantly changing. Nothing felt dull, nothing felt like, you know? Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. You said nothing felt dull. Even though I know it's alpha footage, you know, it didn't release yet, obviously. Right. But stuff like the animations of the characters, that they need to fix because it still looks last gen. Yeah, animation, but I'm talking about physics wise, like things that were going on within the world. The gl like when uh, uh, the character, when the main character, uh, like grabs the rope onto the, 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 the aircraft and he's like flying across. Yeah, it looks. And the aircraft is crashing through, like buildings and whatnot and the glass and like the people it's just like everything looked right everything looked believable it looked believable i'm gonna, I'm gonna agree with you on that though because you know it's, I mean? it looked it looked believable that's one and secondly i'm gonna mention i'm sorry i'm mentioning the ram again this was done only with four gigabytes so and that's and again it's eight gigabytes of ram and that is just half the potential of yeah half the potential which is scary because that looked really good it looked real realistic i loved i loved that everything was moving like you said i loved that it was you know everything was just lively so everybody had their own and it was pretty colorful for a killzone game too which is kind of shocking because killzone it usually has like gray like black and white killzone too. is like a corridor shooter like you know it's like yeah. in little areas this world I, looks I hope i hope i like i don't know like for me for the for the series all right because it, it's a it's a polish shooter but for me story-wise i just feel like yo like f it you said killzone shadowfall let's just all be helgen because there needs to be a story. Because yeah. the Helgen is so all much right, all right, than I. All right, all right. They are more interesting than the ISA. But if we play the Helgen, then what's the point? We always thought, thought of them as menacing and badass. Right. So what would be the point? Killing the good? You know, it, it would have to. It's too much. Right. Like, right. it has to be something bigger than Helgen for us to be playing with them. Right. And then um, that was pretty cool. Because that, that, for me, the, the reason why we're bringing this up is because, obviously, this is the launch title. Yeah. This is something that this you is know, real. This is not a. This is real. So expect uh, Killzone Shadow Falls. Hopefully, um, with your PS4s, when you do pick them up uh, this November. So that's pretty awesome. Um, they announced other games. Uh, Drive Club. Drive Club. Yeah, that's uh, makers of Motorstorm. That that which was awesome because Motorstorm always is a beautiful game. M what? No, I disagree with you there. Motorstorm One was a beautiful game. Motorstorm Two and Three, graphically, they weren't. They were. They they didn't have the same effect. No, it didn't have the same effect. You're right. But it, they 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 know what they're doing. So um, Drive Club. Uh, well, for me though, I think Drive Club is gonna have the same effect uh, that they had with the PS3 uh, at launch. This or is not with Motorstorm because Motorstorm was pretty, but it's like. But this is not. This is not dirt racing or whatever this is street racing this is street ra team racing the team racing yeah club racing this is not like um yeah just regular racing this is team racing team based and then it's it's challenge based so so for me uh, hearing that it, it feels like it's i don't know like i feel like it's not it's not full like it's not a full game like you can't do like it, it, all right awesome team race all right awesome that it's team racing yeah, like, wh I, what What about the single-player elements? What about this element? What about, you know, so, like, replay value? Like, I know oh. it's... A replay value is infinite with team racing, but, yeah. like... But what, what are early. the other things about the game? It's still too early, though. Yeah, because, it's too early. Because what they showed was only, what, 30 seconds of it? Yeah, and him, like, racing. It, lo it looked kind of... Um, it looked it like Party look Gotham. It looked like... Wait. It looked uh, like a pre-made video. It didn't really look gameplay, full-out gameplay. Like, he was... I felt like he was just showing us, um... Well... Uh, Sony was showing us um, a bunch of clips of what the cars are going to look like, the environment graphics, but it didn't look like the game. It looked like, okay, he just paused it in the middle of, like, the... Wow, of the video. Yeah. But, to me, it looked like Project Gotham. Yeah, it lo it, lo it, it had a Project Gotham-esque. Got the feel, yeah. Yeah, feel. It wasn't Gran Turismo or anything, so... Yeah, it's pretty cool. I guess it's, like, the Project Gotham killer. No, not a killer. It's already that. Uh, Microsoft yeah. killed that series yeah, already. so, um... So the Drive Club, uh, I know we got Infamous. Infamous, Second Son. A lot of people were excited about that. Um, very vague trailer. It looked, it looked real good, though. It looked good. It looked good. Uh, I like where they're going with it. They were actually, um, I, with, uh, what I've been researching was that they're actually taking a new, um, they're taking a real-life approach to it. 
protect the people it's that based in Washington as opposed to like Empire City or New Marais. Like this is actually Washington. I want to know, but what does this have to do with Infamous then? Like what's going to be, is it going to be a connection with, you know, Empire City? That's what yeah, I like, it, was, it. it was. It was really vague. So, like, are you gonna meet? It was just, it's just good to see that Infamous is gonna make an appearance on the PS4. Hopefully at launch. Yeah, so. and it's like a completely different, you know, different I mean, power. Second Son, just to uh, just to uh, clarify, Second Son um, is just reiterating that First Sons were the Infamous that was uh, the guys, the the group in Infamous One. Yeah. That pretty much started like the first conduits and now it's like second son i'm assuming is like the rebirth of like spoiler and you oh, yeah. like, spoiler yeah. we already spoiled it we spoiled it sorry yeah. guys uh yeah but that that is the story of infamous one but this is this is gonna be something new something fresh and it looked real good so yeah it's uh, yeah look it looked great it, it, it looked believable so that's what it looked. for me, I felt like those three titles were like the most believable exclusives for the PS. What about Knack? Knack as well. Oh, Knack, yeah. Uh, I felt like it. They're trying to go for the Pixar approach, like to just like show off like, hey, uh, Sony could do Pixar games. But I feel like um, if yeah, it, it didn't look poly. It looked it looked like it's in development. It looked like it had like that hey like that. That good feeling, you know, like you when you walk, go watch The Incredibles. Nostalgia. You, well, yeah, when you go watch The Incredibles or Finding Nemo or Toy Story, you get like a good feeling about what you're watching. Like, I felt like they they were capturing that to a sense, but it needs a lot of polishing in my in my um, in my perspective. Like, I mean, but it's something different. It's not. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just it's just yeah. Like it, it's something cool. I, I like the fact that they even tried. So um, I'm I'm. I, I wouldn't buy it. I, it's not my preference of launch game, but uh, it's definitely something I would pick up eventually to just try. And uh, also, also Capcom was there. Yeah, well, well now, before we hit Capcom, a bunch of other developers were there at the event. Um, they pretty much just showed off engines. They didn't really show off like yeah, because like, Unreal concrete. Engine was there. Yeah, they didn't show off uh, concrete games, but they just showed uh, pretty much the potential in graphics. When it comes to like well the different things that they're trying to show off with their next games going forward, so uh, Capcom showed off uh, what exactly again? Um, Project Deep Down. Yeah, Deep Down, which looked it looked the most unrealistic out of everything that was shown off in terms of like capability. But I I've, I'm hearing from Jose that it's actually possible. It could, could they yeah, could it could like that off. It could be possible. That's. That's yeah, also that, that fire was not graphics. That fire, was yeah, life. it looked that, that real fire good. That was That's effects out right of the there. Dragon's mouth, that looked like life. That wasn't really graphics for me. And then it's um, a, it's all with the art style. Now that they have the RAM for this thing, right. like to you know to and it looked like do a, everything. Um, it looked like a Demon Souls type of game, real Demon Souls. Well, ripple. Dragon's Dogma. Yeah, Dragon's Dogma Two. They can call that if if it, if this is a title, worth the title. Game, yeah. This Dragon Dogma 2, um, I wouldn't be surprised if this is it. But it looked it looked awesome. If it, if we I mean, even it. even a downgraded version of that would still look awesome. Slightly down, yeah, it would, it would be pretty cool. Uh, it had a Lord of the Ring feel to it, so that was pretty cool. Never go wrong with Lord of the Rings. And then um, our boys at uh, which one? Beat and Molecule. Beat and Molecules. Yeah, they announced some. They they're pretty much. It's pretty much. They pretty much announced for us that the PlayStation Move is going to be something that's going to be transferable to the PS4, PS4, which is the only peripheral at the moment that's announced to be able to work on the PS4, pretty much. Okay, but that demo that they did was real... All right, at the first, like the, the beginning, sculpting the, sculpting, the sculpting demo, it was cool, whatever, but when they started doing the music thing, it was like yeah, doing the weeping thing again. Molecules, like they, 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 I know. When it comes to creating stuff, like Little Big Planet, every Little Big Planet that they have, not, that, that they have announced and released... Th- has done the job when it comes to creation like even to this day i feel like people haven't even pulled like yeah did like, a push the, the the engine the engine you know, like, to its full capacity like the creation system. engine even in little big planet one like i feel like it's, it's just endless. yeah i agree maybe like agree four years from now we'll probably see full potential like like usage of of the engine, engine. yeah i agree with that uh also that was there square enix was there oh snap Okay, and shit Square Enix says. Like, we should name this a segment because uh, I don't know if you guys noticed. How do you... Wait, wait, time out. Can I start? Go ahead, go ahead. Just go. <laughs> how do you have the nerve to come to a console press conference and release a trailer 
that we have seen how long ago? How long is how old is a that? Few, a few months ago. Was it Project Agnes? Yeah, Project Agnes. That you showed me because I was in when we were when we were like speculating this event and all that. You actually showed me this when when uh, when they first announced that hey Sony's gonna have a uh, press event a press event for so and so which we all knew was the PS4 at that time and I was interested in like hey how powerful could graphics be and he showed me that trailer which like like not to take it away from Square Enix but it did look beautiful yeah it does look like, good which they never get wrong which. And the, that video was done with less, you know, less amount of specs than what the PS3 has right now. PS4. But, yeah, the PS4, my fault. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, with the PS4, okay, so with the PS4, it's going to be, you know, the graphic capability is not going to be up to notch as what they showed in that trailer, but it's going to be somewhat close. Okay. So it's going to be pretty good. Which is cool to know, but uh, <sighs> yeah, Square Enix. Crap. All right, so we, we didn't bash them yet. <laughs> yeah, we didn't yet. So Square has the nerve to uh, after the announcement, after showing a trailer that we all have seen, Square has the nerve to troll us by saying, "Wait a minute, we have another announcement. There's gonna be, and it's gonna be another announcement for E3." All right, so it's gonna be another announcement for E3, but. Final they're Fantasy versus thirteen is not even out, <laughs> and they're and they're planning to make another Final Fantasy. What is going on? How like this is coming up like a timeline where you just need oh different Final boy. Fantasy titles pointing to each like, other. I don't get. I don't get it. I I really don't get it. It's getting it's getting old. It's it's frustrating. Same, same thing with Kingdom Hearts. It's frustrating. They're not releasing anything. No, they're releasing everything that doesn't have to do with anything that we want. You know what I mean? Like. They're they're pretty much like they, I think like when they're in the offices and like coming up with ideas. They do like, that. I feel <laughs> like, I feel like hey, I feel like hey let's let's see what everybody wants. Throw that shit out the window <laughs> and let's make a list of shit that we want. And let's make lightning another game. Yeah, because that's what's happening. So yeah, so I don't know who's running the the show over there, but they need to get it together. E three, I swear for me, E three. I say right now, this uh, E3 2013 is the make or break for Square Enix as a company. They have Ido, so they remember they have Tomb Raider. They have these other. I know for me, for me, it's a make or break as a company to take seriously. Understandable. After this, I'm not. I'm gonna start buying my pretty much my RPGs from like the American developers because I I just quit on the Japanese developers at this point. I mean, when you're announcing 500 different Final Fantasies and they're not even releasing. Like you, you had you could have you. Could, they pretty much could have married like married the whole thing, like married it. I know I just made that a verb or whatever. <laughs> like, <laughs> like they could have just like ride the nostalgia of like Final Fantasy. They could have made a seven remake. They could, they could, they could, they, they, could. they still it. could and bought it and loved it. Not just buy it, not just buy it for the money. People just love it. They would just love it. Cause that's what you want to do. You want you play games as an activity to feel good or to like you know entertain yourself and when you're entertained you love you know what i mean so it's like just make shit that people love and like get it out the way get it out the system and, yeah, get it out the and you know what it is though like get those sis- get those games out of the way so that people could play your games with clear conscience you know what i mean yeah like i could play i, I don't care all right i don't make freaking 50 versions of final fantasy 13 but get it out of my fucking head that i still need to play kingdom hearts 3 i still yeah. need to play versus i agree clear I agree my head that. and then you could get away with stuff like this but at the moment you're not you're not you're you're not gonna fool the consumer for much longer and it's just that everybody's just gonna give up yeah everyone's gonna give up everyone. and, by the, and by the time they actually do that it'll be too late yeah everybody's not gonna care Exactly. Exactly. Or they won't have enough money for people, you know, to do a final to do those remake. things. Yeah, that's understandable. So, um, yeah, other third party, other than Square and um, and 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 their mess, Square and their mess. mess. Yeah. Other third party of Bungie. Yeah, that. You know, that was uh, that was actually payback for the Final Fantasy 13 announcement. <laughs> that's payback at uh, <laughs> Xbox. Street, I don't know. Xbox these, con- conference. these console wars. I'm can't. sorry. I I had to. I that that uh, that hurt me the most out of any conference. Oh, you fanboy, suck it up. I'm sorry. That that hurt. I don't know. Things need to belong where they need to belong. Like I don't, <laughs> as a as a PS3 fanboy. Or whatever you want to call me, or like a gaming fanboy in general, because I, I don't hate Xbox. I actually I don't I wouldn't mind buying a Durango if like you know if it has the things I want to play. 
But like for me, I respect I respect Sony for what it is. I respect Microsoft for what it is. Bungie should have stayed with Microsoft. I didn't want it on my system. It's yeah. just it's just making it. It's for me. It's just giving light to the fact that hey, first person shooters are going to be like the pioneers of next generation. And I don't want to yeah, any more first person shooters. That, that's Microsoft's job to do. I don't. It's Microsoft's job. Like, to do, yeah. but no, I actually agree with you with the you know first person shooters. It's still leading the way. I want more stuff like platforming. I just back. Want, yeah, I want I want a variety. That's what it is. And it's like okay, we're Bungie's making this. Did they? Is that multi platform by the way? Destiny? Destiny. Yeah, it's cross gen. Oh, by the way, Bungie's new game is Destiny, which is uh, the multi platform game. That's no multi gen game because it's coming out on PS3. 360? 360? PS3? PS3, 360, PC. So it's coming out on everything, pretty much. And there's even an app, so you could change, you know, your classes. So it's an app that interacts with the game. And it's going to be free to play, but you always have to be online. Always. And, yeah, they announced that. Also, they announced uh, Diablo 3. Exclusive. No one cared about Diablo. Diablo is the most overrated okay. game probably of la- of last year um well it was I, rushed yeah like the media is exploding it to make it seem like it's a good game like oh great game sorry but it was very rushed i don't care about it being on ps3 i care it's less about it being on ps4 okay because it's going to be the same thing as if i was to play it on the pc you know what i mean and then pc gamers didn't you know the reception they got from like hardcore pc gamers was very subpar very average so it's cool that they, that Blizzard is coming to consoles. Yeah, that's that's, that's the cool part about it. And exclusive on Sony, so it's better on Sony's part that they could get the Blizzard audience over to their console. But yeah, but Diablo as a game is uh, pretty average. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the third party uh, developer. The, the major ones that come off the top of my head. Yeah, that's what they 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 just showed like a taste of it. Yeah, of the whole you know PS4, what it was gonna be about. You know the 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 shit pretty much before yeah. the before the storm. E three is the storm. Yeah, this is the calm right now. No, no, this is this is the um, this is like hey, go get your go get your gear, because it's coming. Go get your supplies. Go get your water. Go get your, <laughs> go get your survival kit because it's coming. E three. I'll tell you that. That's what the PS four was pretty much. Uh, this conference was pretty much saying. What that's the storm is in June. Yeah, but June eleventh is it? Uh, E three June eleventh, June twelfth. Yeah, June twelfth. It's it's around that. We'll be there. Yeah. So uh, expect us there. We were there last year. We're going there again. So yeah, expect us on that. Talking about E three. Talking about E three. Um, Microsoft. You, we, we couldn't. Microsoft was not gonna let Sony have all the shine. April apparently. Yeah, in April. Uh, Microsoft conference. And Microsoft doesn't want to address it being the next-gen console, but the, the way things are going, it is the next-gen console. console. Yeah, they and are um, we're going to have a special next week. Yeah, next week. We're going to... Not a special. Well, we're going to cover what Microsoft could do to counteract counter- this Sony conference. And to, and to pretty much, like... Pretty much, yeah. Just counteract it. See uh, what, what might be announced. The realism. The not realistic ideas of what will be at this conference. So expect that. Yeah, and that's all, guys. I, I'm, I'm stoked. I cannot wait for, you yeah, know. The PlayStation 4. It's keeping in. I can't even wait for next week. Because next week is going to be awesome. Because next week we're going to talk about the the pre, the pre pretty much the pre-announcement show. Is with, with, Microsoft, with Microsoft. Yeah, with Microsoft was what we're going to have. So. Um, I'm excited about preparing for that um, and just pretty much letting our thoughts run on the podcast about it. So uh, expect that in the coming. Yeah, and that's all we have for you guys. Uh, thank you for listening to us. Always. On a special always. Check out the website. Podcast. Yes, check out. Do pi- Awesome. Yeah. Also, check out uh, Nino Cooney review that we have up. Awesome. Very good game. Very good game. Um, I recommend it to anyone who loves RPGs. So yeah. Check it out. So, alright guys. Later. Later.